So today we are going to see Markov modeling. In Markov modeling, there is something called states. For example, a person can be in a healthy state, a diseased state or dead state. So any one person can be in one state and the person can go to other states as the time progresses. That is the assumption of Markov modeling. For example, a healthy person can go to disease state. From diseased state, he can become healthy again or be in the dead state and so on. Now we need something called the transition matrix. It is the probability that a person in one state would go to the other state after one cycle. For example, there is 95% probability that a healthy person will remain healthy after one cycle. 3% chance that he will be diseased and 1% chance that he will cease to exist. If a person is diseased, let's say HIV, he has 0% chance of being healthy. 95% chance he stays diseased and 5% chance he or she faces mortality in one cycle. If a person is in the dead state, he can't become diseased, he can only remain in the dead state. Such groups or states where you can't come out of is called the absorbing state. Now these probabilities are gathered from conducting studies or from literature review and it will vary depending upon the disease. So for example, transitioning from disease to LD is not possible in certain diseases but it might be possible in some diseases. So every disease will have its own transition matrix. So once we understand that, let us see how we can simulate a cohort. Cohort simulation is nothing but observing how a bunch of people, also known as cohort, will move from one state to the other as time progresses. For example, let us start with 1000 healthy people. So our initial state of the cohort is 1000, 0 and 0. 1000 healthy, 0 diseased and 0 dead. Now after the end of cycle 1, how many people are remaining in each state? Let us calculate. We had 1000 healthy people initially. And the probability of going from healthy to healthy is 96%. So we multiply 1000 by 0 0.96, which gives us 960 people. Similarly, the probability of going from healthy to diseased is 3%. So multiplying 1000 by 0 0.03 gives us 30. Similarly, probability of going from healthy to dead is 0 0.01. So 1000 multiplied by 0 0.01 gives us 10. Since other states have zero people, they can't contribute to the new state. Our cycle one of simulation is complete. So cycle one was relatively simple because we had zero diseased and zero dead. Now let us try to understand cycle two, which is a bit complex. We have 960 people in the healthy state and there is 96% chance that they will remain in the healthy state. So 960 multiplied by 0 0.96 gives us 921.6. From healthy to diseased, there is 3% chance. So 960 multiplied by 0 0.03 gives us 28.8. For healthy to dead, we multiply 960 by 0 0.01 and we get 9.6. Now this time we have 30 and 10 patients in the diseased and the dead state. So we repeat this process. From diseased to healthy, there is zero chance, so no contribution. From diseased to remaining in diseased state has a 95% chance. So 30 multiplied by 0 0.95 gives us 28.5 which will get added over here. Similarly, 30 multiplied by 0 0.05 gives us 1.5 which gets added here. Now finally in the dead group, there is zero probability to go into healthy state or the disease state. So no contributions here. 100% of the people remain in the dead state. So now we add these to get 921.6 in the healthy state. 57.3 in the disease state and 211 in the dead state after cycle 2. Now you can try the cycle 3 whose results are 884.74, 82.08 and 33.18. Try out this cycle and see if you get the same results. These videos and animations take a long time to create so please support us by subscribing our channel.